Good evening, everybody. This is the show Perfectly Honest. We are honest off this We are honest off this pit. At all times. We honest, y'all. So, before we begin, everybody state their name for the people and let everybody know who they are. Grand Reek. I got Deadly Assassin Incorporated. <laughs> Drama. Okay. All right. Listen, I'm your boys. Clem, a.k.a. CEO Dales, a.k.a. I'm a part of Onsite Battle League. Salute to them. Um, boop, boop, boop. Salute to everybody around. Talking Crazy Incorporated. All that shit. Hi, my name is Shedrick Hunley. I go by the street name of Digital King. To others, I'm known as the Prophet Enoch. I'm a private individual, and uh, I own a car, a used car dealership. Um, I also own my own... Um, company, uh, it's a private company, um, and I also am very good with the law. And I, know I do right. music for fun. I know, I know that's right. Hey, who's that looking? TV. Talk to him. Y'all already know what Talk it is. Listen, perfectly honest. Yeah, so y'all got their names. Now yeah, today, man. today, as far as us coming together, mm -hmm. we was trying to figure out, uh, See, what y'all seeing now is a premiere episode. Wherever it goes, however it goes, that's just what you, that's what y'all gonna see. So we don't know what it is it's and how it's gonna be. A lot of money. But it's gonna be worth something. Facts. Perfectly honest, y'all. Out this bitch. So it's five black men in this room right now. And many more men and women watching and of black descent, let's just say that. But today we're gonna speak about Black men in a white man's world. Okay. Don't worry about that. You good. So today, like I was saying, for digital, King. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. We perfectly honest, goddammit. Yeah. So listen. Black men in a black man's world in a white man's world, part of me. It's the first thing I'm gonna say is that it's fucked up. Like a lot of niggas don't pay attention to this shit, man. Like it's crazy how no matter what we do, no matter how successful we, no matter how successful we become, we still gotta get a white man something, man. White man always want their hand out for something. Like, why is that? Can anybody answer that question for me? Why does the white man always want their hand out for something? Well, yeah, who have we worked for? Well, I would say. Okay, I don't, I can't answer that, but what I will say is. If anybody has an opportunity to take advantage, they do. But I think, and this is my opinion, part of the problem we have is we spend too much time trying to be accepted right. and not building our own shit. Right. Like, I don't, I, I, I always fight with the idea of why we worry about what they're doing. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of building our own shit. You get what I'm talking about? Like, right. it's, it's more about. We have a problem and we built most of everything in the world. Right. You get what I'm saying? But it, it, to me, it seems like we spend a lot of time trying to be accepted mm -hmm. instead of trying to innovate. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that that's part My of the My main thing is, uh, is the unity. We don't have enough unity within each other. You know what I'm saying? We place that unity, we put that unity, we get that unity together, we, we can start making amazing things happen. Right. You know what I mean? It's not enough now. Right? Too many people going out drinking, smoking, you know what I mean, stuff like that. So it's like they ain't even paying no attention to that. You know what I mean? And that's what's breaking us apart. That's what broke us apart in the first place. You know what I mean? So let me ask this question. Is it that we don't have unity or is it that some of the media may portray things differently? Because you know if you put something in front of the camera, it becomes true, right? So if there's a situation where I want to portray a certain image. Mm -hmm. All I got to do is keep showing that image. I was watching Akon not too long ago, and he was talking about how they do images of Africa. Mm -hmm. And every time you talk about Africa, it's people swinging from trees and lions and all types of stuff. They never talk about the, the new up and coming, uh, how Africa looks now. Right. The technology Africa has now, how innovative they are right. now, because the media wants to portray, this is Africa. They're crazy, they need to be caged. You get what I'm saying? Right. So I ask, is that the same thing happening now? Because I see more now individuals, especially younger younger brothers right now, 
uniting, working together, doing businesses together. Like the fact that you see cats like Jay Z, Diddy, and all them actually doing innovative things to change law, right. to get people elected, and things of that nature. That was unheard of 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Hip hop had no voice. And I say hip hop because hip hop is urban. Exactly. urban. So we didn't really have a voice. It's coming to a point where we're, we're, we're displaying our power. Mm-hmm. So do you think that the change is happening and the media doesn't want to show it because it's dangerous if they do? That That's honestly something I think about all the time. And yeah, I do think that. I do think that the change has already happened and it's just the media doesn't want to show it. Mm-hmm. They just, they don't want to show it. Do you, do you know how many business owners that are happening right now because I saw images on TV showing, oh wow, he started a business, oh wow, he made a billion dollars, oh wow, he became a doctor, oh wow, he became a scientist. Right. I could do that. It ain't that hard. Exactly. I can put the work in. In the past, the biggest thing that happened, even going back to slavery, was kept us uneducated, kept information from exactly. us. Because they understand, once you learn this, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So the more I keep y'all separated, divided, or what have you, mm-hmm. or keep the media of that, then it makes it easy for me to, to be able to do what I want to do. Right. I don't think it's a situation no more, especially because of technology. I don't I don't subscribe to the white man holding us down no more. I just don't. Right. What I subscribe to is we are so powerful, bro. We made it through slavery, bro. True. Do you understand? Yeah. Do you know how powerful that is to be taken from your land, separated from your family, and still survive? Right. That's crazy. So the fact that we bounce back from that, now we have an opportunity to take everything that we've learned, fought through, and struggled through. We we understand the struggle. Right. Even if I don't know your story, I know your story. You get what I'm saying? So now I have the opportunity to build from that. And there's people that don't even know nothing about slavery. Right. That's coming up behind us that we can school and get them to build the nation. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So for me, it's not necessarily trying to survive in their world. It's creating our own. Right. You get what I'm talking about? Yeah, I understand. That's where I'm at. at. We got to build our own shit. Exactly. That's what I've always... we talked about, and I'm sorry, I'm talk, I talk a lot. I'm sorry. Nah, go ahead, go ahead. But we were talking about the Oscars. Be we right. were talking about. Be <laughs> we were talking about the Oscars, right? Uh-huh. And on the Oscar, they were talking about why it wasn't a lot of black representation. My question was, why the fuck do we care about the Oscars? Exactly. Why the fuck is that important? Why are we not putting this emphasis in the BET Awards? Right. That's our shit. But we spent a lot of time trying to be accepted by them. And it's not, and, and and again, it is what it is. We have our opinions on it, but at the end of the day, I, I can coexist, but I need to build my own shit. We but the thing is, who watches the Oscars? Like, who the fuck watches the Oscars? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, don't give me one. I might, I might watch it for like best movie of the year type shit like that, but for the most part, watched. I haven't watched it in years. I'd rather watch the Grammys. Right. I'd rather watch the Grammys. I like watching my shit. I'm gonna be honest. I like watching black stuff, man. I like watching the bootleg movies. I like watching the low budget shit. I right. like I like shit like that because I know that it took some shit to make it. Right. I can relate to it. Master P movies. They weren't the best in the world, but it was Master P and he was my brother. Right. I'm watching them. I may not relate totally, but that's my guy. I'm watching it.